Welcome back to another Best Laptop Setups video. This is episode number 34. And as usual, I just wanna congratulate last episode's winner, Suede. You're going home with a $100 gift card. As usual, we'll be giving another $100 gift card to this episode's winner. And please, if you're enjoying this series, hit the like button and subscribe as it does help out. Now, before I begin, I do have a little setup from Best Buy who was kind enough to partner on this part of the video that I think a lot of you guys are gonna enjoy. This is the HP Envy Move, and it comes with everything you pretty much need for your next desk setup. The best part is it's portable just like a laptop. There's a handle on the top and a pocket in the back that lets you store the included keyboard and trackpad when you're ready to move. It weighs around nine pounds, so it's not as heavy as a traditional desktop computer. Plus there's a rechargeable 83 watt hour battery inside, so you don't need to plug it in every time you move it. The battery can be charged to 50% in just 45 minutes. The bigger 24 inch display, which is touch sensitive and QHD gives you more screen real estate to work with compared to a traditional laptop. The cool thing is there's an HDMI in port so you can connect other devices like an Xbox or computer to it. Something you can't do with most laptops. Now my configuration has has an i5 13555U, eight gigabytes of RAM and a 512 gigabyte SSD. It's a cool idea if you wanna move around rooms in your house or take a bigger screen to your office. It's available at Best Buy and I'll place a link in the description down below so you can check it out. The first setup comes from Beatrice. She's from Almada, Portugal, my home country, and she runs a small creative agency with her husband. She offers writing services, online courses, crisis management, the list goes on. She has redesigned her desk setup so many times that she's decided to keep everything nice and clean. Clean. And I think it looks great. You know, she has a lot of white. She has a lot of simplicity going on. She has some blue accent colors with the Lego shelving on the right hand side. I love her laptop of choice. She's using an Asus Zephyrus G15 in all white, which matches her BenQ white monitor, which happens to be a 27 inch monitor. It has the eye care and docking station so she can put things on it. I also like the little blue chair on the bottom, which is a good way of saying it's time to relax after hours and hours of working. A lot of Ikea stuff going on here because her desk is from Ikea, her lamp is from Ikea, uh, bookshelves are probably from Ikea, even the smart bulb happens to be from Ikea. I understand Ikea is more affordable, but it looks good and it serves its purpose as a proper desk setup. Now the mouse is a Logitech Lift Vertical. This is really good for your wrist. It, it keeps your hand this way so you're not like twisting it and getting carpal tunnel after using your computer for a few hours. Her reading chair, she says is garbage. I like it. And then her monitor lights are from an unknown brand from a supermarket. Her keyboard is the Microsoft Designer Compact Bluetooth and numpad. And then she has these Logitech Z407 speakers. The mouse pad is a gray Logitech Studio desk mat. Everything is nice and clean. There's not a lot of cable sticking out. She has a little canopy underneath or hammock rather to hold all the cables inside so they don't dangle everywhere. I love the fact that she has a footrest on the bottom, which will help her posture. She has a little tray underneath to keep things organized. And then she places her headphones on the right side of the table so that they don't just sit in the middle of nowhere. Setup number two comes from Mark and he is originally from the Philippines. The Filipinos are always representing in this series, but he now resides here in Canada up in Edmonton, Alberta. Now he's setting his setup that he uses primarily for 3D CAD modeling and designing stuff as a mechanical engineer. He's also in school and he does have a tiny little space beside his bedroom for his setup. Now he has a lot of stuff going on here, so I'm not gonna go through everything, but he does have a ton of accessories. He does have a big, beautiful monitor that he uses, a 27 inch QHD, 144 Hertz display. He does have a PC, which happens to be a deep cool matrix. PC with a 12th gen i7 RTX 3070 and he's rocking a Dell XPS 15 with a 4k display touchscreen laptop so when he's at home he's obviously using his desktop PC but when he's traveling or moving around he's putting that Dell XPS 15 in his bag I also like the placement of his PlayStation 5 sitting in the right hand corner it looks like it's organized very well I also love the fact that he has a little shelf for his knickknacks and his speakers which gives it some space to hide stuff underneath and then he has his monitor placed on an actual monitor arm which kind of floats off the table he his monitor arm is from north bay which i have one as well his tablet stand is from ugreen and then he has a pc stand from upsill which probably is underneath the desk to hold his pc together he has a big clock from time gyro and then he has a chair which is the sit on it wit 
ergo chair, which looks quite comfortable. Now his wall's a little bit busy. Like I get it, you like cars, you have these big cars on the wall, but I think they're a little bit too big and it takes up the entire space. I feel like maybe if you get rid of it, put something a bit smaller, it will make the area feel a little bit bigger. He obviously has headphones, which are on a headphone stand, the Kanto H2 stand. And then his mouse pad is the Razer Gigantis V2. Now, obviously he has some RGB going on here to set the mood for nighttime. And you know, he has a gigantic black mouse pad. Overall, it's a very good looking setup. I really can't see the cables underneath the desk. He really didn't show me that. So I'm assuming they're nice and neat. You know, I think he did a really good job, but again, he can move a few things around to make this corner feel a little bit bigger. Now the third setup comes from Juan. He's from Chile. He happens to be the first Chilean on the best laptop setup series. So thank you for submitting it. And look, this is his gaming setup. This is his Escritorio de Ocio. And he uses this a lot to play Diablo 3. And yes, you can run Diablo 3 on a MacBook, which he happens to have there. It's the MacBook Air M1 2020. I love the fact that he has it on a laptop stand and the monitor is directly beside it. So you have like perfect eye movement when you're spanning back and forth. Now the monitor he has is only 23 inches, which is totally fine. Like that MacBook Air is not gonna be pushing a lot of frames, but it's obviously powerful enough to play Diablo 3. But he also has a Lenovo ThinkPad L14 from his work that he has sitting in the top left-hand corner of his other desk. Overall, it's a very gamer-esque kind of chill vibe. He has a couple of knickknacks that he personally loves. He's obviously into some, you know, gaming figurines that he has on his desk, probably some Diablo characters, but you know, he's using a HyperX Pulsefire FPS Pro mouse. And then he has the HP Gaming H220S headphones. He has a little printer on the bottom of his desk, which I like where it is. It's not taking up the entire space. It's there when he needs it, but it's not overcoming on the desk. You can see he has some sort of console on the shelf above it, along with a controller. It looks like it's a PlayStation. And then he has some RGB lights from Govi surrounding the entire area. Overall, it's a very clean looking setup, you know? Like he's done a very good job with all the cables. It's not sticking out everywhere. And I also like the placement of the camera underneath the left side. It kind of gives you this like photography vibe as well. Setup number four comes from Emmanuel. He is a 3D artist. He's a student. He is a desktop support technician and he's doing a lot of stuff. He happens to be from Ohio in the USA. And look, this is a very simple setup. And sometimes that's all you need. Like this is a place where it's not overcrowded with stuff. It's easy to sit down. You're not like overwhelmed with tons of stuff. You get your work done, you leave. But when you come back, you always have a clean space. I respect it. You got the white wall, the white desk, maybe change the wallpaper to spice things up. He's obviously using an M2 Max MacBook Pro 16 for most of his school and work, but he also has an Asus ROG Zephyrus M16 with an RTX 3060 for some like gaming and rendering. He also rocks an iPad from 2021. It's an M1 iPad. You can also tell he has AirPods Max on his desk. He has an Xbox controller for the games that he does play. He has a HomePod, so very enveloped in the Apple ecosystem, which most Americans and Canadians are. But then he has a Logitech MX mechanical keyboard with linear switches. And of course, this wouldn't be a best laptop setup video without a Logitech MX Master 3S mouse. Overall, it's a very nice setup. The desk is a general desk from Amazon. He has a nice cloth mouse pad to lay everything on. His cable management is not the greatest, but it's not terrible either. He obviously says this is a work in progress, but I think it's a good base to start from. And the last setup comes from Waco. He's from Argentina. And he actually had his setup in episode number 22. And I actually looked back at his old setup and he says this new one has changed quite a lot, but I'm looking at it and it pretty much looks identical. The only thing he really did was change the position of the monitor from landscape to portrait mode. But Messi's still on the wall, which is weird because the goat is obviously Ronaldo. Let's just get that out of the way. But he's still rocking a lot of the same stuff. It's not like an amazing setup. It's a nice setup. It's a clean setup but I think like he could still do a lot more. I feel like there's just too much going on his desk. He is rocking a MacBook Air M1. His monitor is the Asus VG24 inch monitor. And then his vertical monitor is the VA24 inch from Asus. Of course, he's using a Logitech MX Keys Mini, a Logitech G603. Desk pad is Delta Hub minimalistic desk mat. And his speakers are the Marshall 
Edmonton's or Emberton's, sorry, rather. Look, you know, it's it's nice. That everything's nice and organized on his shelf. His desk is super clean. I don't have any really big complaints, but we have to be honest with ourselves, guys. Ronaldo's really the GOAT. All right, that wraps up this episode of the best laptop setups. If you're interested in checking out the HP Move, there'll be a link to that in the description down below. Make sure to submit your pictures for the next laptop setup. There'll be instructions down there as well. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one.